Well, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Salami, and in today's video, I'm going to give you a guide on how to install Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition on your Steam Deck and enjoy one of the greatest horror games of the early 2000s and have a yarn about this great game. So, with the re release of Silent Hill 2 coming later this year, Excuse this me. is not, if not one of the I'm best sorry. times to jump back into the original okay. before going into the remake. And so, Without further ado, Looking let's get into it. Oh. I think you should stay away. This town, there's something wrong with it. Is it dangerous? Maybe. All right, first things first, we're going to head over to desktop mode and we're going to go to our browser and we're going to search up Silent Hill 2, Restless Dreams. Um, and you want to go to this website here, Abandonware. Um, you'll see the link in the video. I ain't, I unfortunately I can't post this in the description because I don't want to get a strike against my channel as had what happened with the Need for Speed video. So just scroll right down to the bottom and you want to download here the fully extracted version, okay? Make sure you get this one as this is the easiest way to make uh, the game work. And the second one we're going to want to download is go to the Enhanced Edition website. As you can see, it's up here. I will have a link to this in the description because it's a, it's a mod, basically. Um, and then you just want to go enter into the website here, head over to download and usage, and then scroll down till you can find the install uh, setup. Yes, there we are. Inst uh, download the setup tool, okay. And download both of those. When you download Silent Hill 2 Restless Dreams from the Abandonware site, um, I was getting quite slow download sleep, uh, speeds. Um, so just keep that in mind. It did take me, you know, upwards of an hour. So just make sure you got a little bit of time up your sleeve for uh, this download. Okay, once we've got those downloaded, you'll see here we've got two folders. We've got the... Um, upgrade in the original game now i've put in i'm going to put these on my sd card um, because that's easier for me um, so i just made a folder on my sd card called silent hill um, and you could do this on the ssd on the steam deck or you can basically put this wherever you want it doesn't really matter um, but that's how i'm doing mine is i'm putting it on the sd card just to keep it off the main system memory because it doesn't need that much bandwidth compared to a modern game so easy done the extraction shouldn't take too long depending on the speed of your sd card or your ssd or if you've got the base one it shouldn't it takes bug all as you can see and we've got the folder here on my Alexa drive and i've just made it's just in the silent hill 2 folder and then you'll want to go back to your downloads and i just copied the um, modification executable into the downloads folder so this is the one we downloaded from the enhanced edition website and I just paste it inside of the Silent Hill 2 folder and then I add this to Steam okay so right trigger uh, left trigger and add to Steam okay and then you'll jump into Steam here go down to S and we'll be able to find it. I think I scrolled the wrong way here because I'm an idiot. I'm just keeping this all in here so you you can see that I'm doing this, you know, like in, in a standard setting, this is how it works. Um, and there we are, found it there. Now you're gonna wanna put this on Proton Experimental as it won't launch. You see, it just doesn't work. So we go over to our COG, Properties, Compatibility, Turn this on, jump it over to experimental here. Close that and we should launch now. Again, you'll lose control of your mouse, so just hold the Steam button and right trackpad to act as normal here. And then you can continue on, go next. Now because we've put this file, this executable inside the Silent Hill folder, it should automatically um, know where to put it and we'll see that going forward here okay we just got to accept the uh, user agreement and just just go with this recommended one 
And as you can see here, it kind of has already worked out that I've got it on my SD drive, um, my SD card. Um, so make sure when you browse that it's going into that extracted uh, Silent Hill 2 folder, okay? I'm just doing this as perpetuity to show you. We can continue. I just let it download all of the updates for the game. Um, this won't take as long as the, as even though this is bigger, this took less time to download. Um, so keep that in mind that you will have to download the enhancements. They shouldn't take too long, like I say. And then once we've done that, it will pop up with a message, as you'll see here. Um, it says here to change over and reuse the, like reset the directory to the Silent Hill 2 EXE. Now, for me personally, when I did that, uh, it would just launch the base game, like not the enhanced edition. So I'm just leaving it on the, uh, the setup EXE and you still can get into the game that way, but it seems to work for me properly. So uh, mileage may vary on that one. You can change it over if you want, but for me, it didn't work, so I just left it on the, the on the um, setup exe. Okay, so up to you if you want to change it, but for me personally, when I did that, I had the issue of it launching the the actual base game of Silent Hill 2, which is not what we're here for. We're here for the enhanced edition, um, and then I go ahead and I do rename it Silent Hill 2 and add all the art and everything like that. Um, if you want to add art to your non-Steam games, uh, let me know and um, we can, I can show you how to do that, what program you need. It's very straightforward. If you've got Deki installed, you're already halfway there. If you haven't got Deki, check out my other video saying top five things you should have on your Steam Deck. Deki is one of those and I can just go down here and change artwork and make it all look a little bit more official on, on the Steam Deck homepage. Um, they've got a ton of different ones there. Um, I just went for the old school PS2 case cover of Silent Hill 2. Um, that to me is spot on. And after that, we're, we're on the home straight really. We're, we're basically done. Again, you could test the game in desktop mode to make sure it's working. Um, I just jump straight back into game mode because that's where, like, where we're going to play mostly. So as long as it's working in game mode, then we're, we're off to a good start. Um, if you have any issues, please let me know in the comments. I may not always be able to help, but where I can, I will. And now we're going to, once once we've done this, we'll load up the game. And... Um, You'll get this every time you load the game up because we're using that setup exe and not the actual game launcher executable. Um, but it's pretty forward. Just go just settings next, and then save and launch. I mean, it's two clicks. It's it's, it's not a big deal. But if you want to try using the proper what it says to use, go ahead. But if you're not, if it doesn't load it as the um, ex enhanced edition, then just go back to the setup exe like I have here. And there we are, we have got Silent Hill 2 up and running. One huge recommendation, turn rotational and go to 2D. The game feels like awful with the 3D rotation for movement. It, it does not feel good at all. Um, and you'll get full screen here too with the enhanced edition. If you're, You'll know if you're running the normal PC version because one, the front end doesn't look like this and two, it will be boxed. So make sure... Uh, you know, you'll know straight away. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just leave you with some gameplay, um, showing it off on Steam Deck, and have a great night, guys. Thank you once again. Give me a sub if you think this video was helpful. If not, don't. Um, let me know in the comments below if you played Silent Hill back when it launched. I'd love to hear some stories. All right, guys, catch you later. Mary, could you really be in this town?
my restless dreams. I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. I got a letter. The name on the envelope said, Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I No, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? Yeah, I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This... Uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the... Bog either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just, I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? I'm looking for someone. Who, who, who is it? Someone. Very important to me. 
I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but... I can't find them either. I I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too.